हाय हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू दीक्षा कर्नाटका आई एम ज्योति संदीप मैथमेटिक्स फैकल्टी एटीन एंड नाइनटीन ऑल ऑफ यू आर गोइंग टू राइट योर के सी टी एग्जाम एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम टेलिंग ऑल अबाउट द एग्जाम पैटर्न लाइक हाउ मेनी पेपर्स यू आर गोइंग टू राइट एंड वॉट विल बी द ड्यूरेशन फॉर द पेपर्स हाउ मेनी मार्क्स विल बी टेकन फ्रॉम बोथ द बोर्ड एंड द के सी टी एंड ऑल द अपडेटेड सिलेबस फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर विल बी डिस्कस तो स्टे ट्यून वॉच टिल द एंड सो इन के सी टी देर विल बी योर टू मेजर कोर्सेस दैट इज इंजीनियरिंग कोर्स एंड अलाइड कोर्सेस इन इंजीनियरिंग कोर्सेस फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथमेटिक्स विल बी देर एंड इन अलाइड कोर्सेस फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड बायोलॉजी विल बी this is very important to know that the exam will be offline and syllabus will be from your ncert syllabus complete first puc and second puc prescribed government textbook you have to refer to that and exam will not be in single day two days you will be having the exams and in different sessions four sessions will be there so two days you are writing this time it is on a 18th april 2024 and 19th april 2024 see the choice of your subjects which three you are attempting or all four you are writing okay make a note of the a uh, time table so that you shouldn't miss any subject so on a thursday that is 18th of april you will have biology and mathematics 80 minutes will be there biology is from 10:32 11:50am and mathematics you have from 2:30 to 3:50pm and 60 marks each subject and next day you will have a other two subjects that will be on a friday so same for 80 minutes each subject 10:32 11:50 timing is same see the particular subject first session you will be writing physics second session you will be writing chemistry okay so as i told each subject has a 60 questions and 60 marks of course and the thing is here no negative marking okay one mark each question and there is no negative mark and per subject you will have 80 minutes and how that 80 minutes will be uh, utilized by the students is like uh, initial 10 minutes will go on writing the names the details i'll show you the omr you will understand how detailed it will be and rest of the 70 minutes will go on your marking according to the questions you have to see the answers and mark it okay so don't rush at the end so before 5 minutes you wind up everything and be ready to give the papers away and each question paper will be of objective type multiple choice questions will be there and omr sheet will be given to the students so properly you should know how to fill it okay and the main thing is you have to use only ball point pen for the omr sheets okay here i we have put a sample question for you go through that and this is the sample omr sheet download the sample omr sheet it will be there in the description box so that you will take the mock test whenever you are writing mock test make sure that you have your omr so that it will be a practice for you how to fill it because if without practice you go to exam and first attempt first time you are writing that means definitely there is a chance of doing mistake there is a lot of details there so name of the candidate register number is there and booklet version code will be there there will be different different versions in the question paper so question booklets version code you have to fill and there is a, a correct method to fill the omrs and it is given here which is the correct way of shading there should be only single shade okay if you tick it or if you cross it or if you not circling that properly or if you multiple multiple answers if you are going giving all those are wrong you sh- you know this you go through the instructions given which is the right method which is the right way to fill and please take the copy of this download and take it and keep that with you whenever you write your mock test one advantage is you will know in prayer the exam what to fill and how to fill it properly that is a one advantage and the time management most important you should know how long it will take for you to attempt all 60 questions that is a really good if you are taking all 60 questions in prayer the exam so as a practice for you okay then you will not fall short in the timings so many students will tell that ma'am time was not sufficient so that problem will not happen first thing is you should know how to mark it syllabus anyway i am going to discuss okay now there is a weightage k 
KC, how they were going to give you the ranking, okay. 50% weightage will be taken from KCT exam what you are scoring and 50% weightage will be taken from your board exam. So, they will take the equal proportion of the marks then they will announce the ranking for you. So, both are equally important. So, both you have should know how to uh, prepare for these exams. One more important information is as we all seen recently that is announced that the dates are 18th April and 19th April this time. Okay, usually it used to be in May. This time we have very very less time because we are left with the 90 days only. Today is 18th January and exact 90 days you have. In this 90 days also you are packed with your exams, right? Board exam, CBSC exam, practical exam. So, you are packed with that and your strategy to get the good mark should be very clear. To help you with this, Diksha Karnataka has planned a series of videos for you on the strategies how to get a good marks and the ranking and the previous year question papers, topic wise important questions, all these videos are there for you. There are a free videos, please subscribe to the channel so that you will get a benefit of it. Here I am discussing the syllabus with you. I am showing the syllabus to just for the understanding what topic is there for your first PUC and second PUC in all the, all the subjects, okay. So, highlight on the chapters which are there for you, which are highlighted here, those are taken off from your syllabus. Just know that before the preparation, know that which are not there for your syllabus and where I have to give the extra timing, okay. The, I will discuss the weightage also in upcoming videos and in all the subjects, teachers will discuss you the important questions on the important chapters what we have in this, okay. That will help you to know uh, how to prepare for your exam better. So, here first you see you noted that sets, relations, functions, trigonometry is the most most important, complex numbers, quadratic, linear inequations, permutation combinations, go through all the chapters, okay. Have a good knowledge with you that which and all are there and which is not there for your syllabus. Second PUC math syllabus is like this, relation and functions, inverse trigonometry, mathematics, uh, matrices and determinants, you have calculus, huge part of calculus where we are covering differentiation, integration, application and rest of the chapters you can see on the screen. Do take the screenshot of all this so that you will have a clear idea which chapters are going to come this year. There is a lot of changes compared to last year. That's why we have brought this latest syllabus for you. Units and measurement, motion in a straight line, motion in a plane, loss of motion, go through all the chapters here. This is about the first PUC physics and here is a second PUC physics chapters. Electric charges, fields, electrostatics, potential and capacitance. See, when you are preparing for your exams, take up the chapter which has a more weightage. You don't have a time, right? So, there is very less time for you to go through. It's not like every chapter from the beginning till the end you are reading. No, you don't have to go in an order. You have to take up the chapter which has a more weightage, okay? If you have any doubt in that, refer to our videos because in every video we are bringing all the information for you which are the important chapters where you have to give more weightage, okay, where you have to spend more time and the strategy also how to get the good marks in these 90 days in spite of your board exams also, okay. The strategies are important for you to better your marks. So, this is a chemistry syllabus, second PUC syllabus. So, in chemistries particularly many chapters are taken off. So, better you have a good idea which chapters you are going through. It uh, shouldn't be like that you are reading some chapter and that chapter is not there for syllabus, okay. Have a good idea in all the all the subjects what I am talking about. This is the biology PU1 syllabus. As you all know in biology PU1 has a more chapters compared to your second PUC syllabus. So, these are the chapters what you have to go through in biology first years and here we have a biology chapters in the second PUC. So, if you have any doubt regarding anything in CET, please do comment in the comment section and see how you like the video. Please subscribe so that everyone share with your friends also. 
everyone should get the benefit of it that is what we need here thank you for watching the video i'll come again i'll meet you in the next video with a new strategy to get a good marks